Hello and welcome to today's Quick Bite video. Today we're going to talk about geometry shells. It's a feature found in DAS Studio 3D. Currently I have loaded DAS Studio 4.8 and I've also loaded into DAS Studio the boots from DAS 3D's Vigilante outfit. As you can see here in the preview window, this is a iRay render, quick render, of the boots. And they look nice. They're nice and clean. But perhaps we want to dirty them up a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is go over here to, well, first thing we're going to do is make sure we have the boots selected here. Then we're going to go to Create. new geometry shell and then we want to give it a name we call it boots dirt layer while we wait for the preview window to update let's take a look at the node list you will notice a new node <laughs> well it should be called boots not bots <laughs> let's let's change that name spell it correctly okay now you'll see in this render that is white because there's no texture applied to this geometry shell so we're going to make sure the boots layer dirt layer is selected when a geometry shell is created, it actually duplicates the geometry of the item as well as its material zones. This allows you to apply different effects to different parts of the item based upon its material zones. And so this geometry just wraps around the item and is a layered on top of that item, which allows you to provide or have these kind of effects over the item the textures. So what we need to do now is add some texture to this geometry shell. I have a new product. It's called iRender Materials Fabrics, which includes a set of dirt shaders specifically for this purpose of adding dirt to the geometry shell. So the first thing we're going to do is add one of these dirt layers to all the materials. You can see it changes here in the video preview window and you can't see much uh, because one is it's transparent and two the uv mapping of the item may not line up perfectly with the geometry shell texture that we have applied and we can adjust this in the shader menu in das studio however to make it a little bit easier to see for this tutorial i'm going to go ahead apply a different texture okay now now you're starting to see something we have some splotches on these boots but what if they're not in the exact place that I want them you can go down here and use the tiles or the offsets to adjust the shell the just shape the material on the shell so I'm going to turn this back to texture. Still see the uh, texture there, but it will update more quickly. And you see I adjust the horizontal offset and it changes there. To do the vertical offset, I can actually bring up more dirt from the bottom of this texture. Okay. Now let's say Right now we kind of have a gray dirt, but what if we want some color? Well, then we're going to apply one of the color options. And we'll switch this back over to iRay Preview. And you can see that we now have a more interesting look to the boots. Well, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. 
Thanks for viewing, and we'll catch you next time. Adios.